Hey guys, we are back at Starlight Drive-In, and uh, before we get started on today's video, I just wanted to apologize for not having a video up last week. It was just a hectic week, and I wasn't able to uh, get a video completed on time, but I am back on my regular schedule, and uh, you can expect my normal uploads uh, going forward. Um, like I said, we are we're back at Starlight, and uh, today we're going to be building a pair of pack-themed homes. Um, this one here is a dog breeder, and uh, just across from it there, you can see the shipping containers, we have a second home. So with that said, let's get started, shall we? So for the first part of the build today, we're actually going to be following along the same path we were building on in the previous video uh, here at Starlight, where we built the scavenger home. And we're just going to continue along building up against this rock wall here. And the rock wall is actually going to provide um, the outer wall for an enclosed patio we're going to build later. But you can see that we're actually building outside the bounds of the settlement. And um, Place Everywhere is a mod that allows us to do that. We can actually place whatever we want, um, anywhere we want. You just have to place down the objects within the settlement bounds before you move them outside. Uh, and it works really well. And then I'm also using a mod called Box Houses, which you've definitely seen in um, other videos of mine. Just lets you build uh, shipping containers as well as train cars. Um, so we're going to build just a basic box car structure here. They all just snap together. But you can see I placed them down inbounds and then move them outbound. Um, it's kind of a pain in the ass when you're decorating, but um, what it lets you do is awesome. So here we're going to put down um, the flooring for a shed behind this uh, dwelling here. Now it is going to end up clipping with this bush here. The bush is outside of the settlement bounds, so I'm not able to scrap it, but it actually ends up looking okay. And now it's time to uh, put the roof on for the patio here. And uh, you can see, again, placing them down before I move them out of bounds. And they just snap right to the side of the boxcar. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, looks good. So I didn't want to use uh, the shipping container wall um, for the shed here. Just because I wanted to break up the texture a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and use one of these half wooden walls and just kind of maneuver that into place. And then we're going to use one of those um, beat up walls there from the warehouse tab to just kind of break it up a little bit further and just have a couple of different textures mixed in there. Just to make it a little more interesting to look at. Just a matter of lining it up to make it look like they're still attached together, um, even though they're, you know, completely separate materials. And here we're going to break up the texture even more. Um, that really crisp wood just didn't sit right with me. So we're going to use these boards here that you would use to say board up a um, doorway or a window to just kind of make it look even more junky and, I don't know, more like improvised, uh, you know, repair on the shipping container. Just going to snap those into place and uh, looks pretty good. So we just have a couple of uh, finishing touches here on this dwelling. Let's start by uh, finishing off the patio. Now uh, we're just gonna need a support here um, so the roof doesn't look like it's floating. Just a matter of getting it in place and then getting it so it's not poking through the top of the, uh, of the roof there. Just get it nice and close to the edge. Nice. Oh, I guess not nice enough. There we go. So now we have to cover off um, that front part of the patio, just so we can only have one entrance to the patio here. So we're gonna go ahead and use one of the junk fences from the Homemaker mod. And if you've seen some of my other builds, I really enjoy using these, uh, these fences here. They're a little bit taller, they just 
look a little more secure as well. Just a matter of getting in a place without too much clipping. There we go. So we can't have this uh, shipping container floating. So I figured I'd use a car instead of the junk fences that I typically use. Just to kind of, I don't know, make it stand out. Look a little bit different than the other shipping container uh, homes that I've built. And there it is. And for the shed, we are going to use the junk fences. Um, it does a couple of things. One, it blocks off the bottom, but it also um, breaks up the texture of the shipping container sides. You know, right here we have two shipping containers right next to each other. And even though they're different colors, it, it'd it be nice to break up that texture a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead and use the junk fences. And just slot them in place and perfect. Now on to the second home. And I already placed these cars down to just get the footprint of, you know, of the home. And we're going to go ahead and go back through and replace these cars with um, different ones just to kind of break it up a little bit. So with the sloped ground here, I had to get a little bit creative and by using one of those semi trucks and then placing a car kind of on top of the back of it, it meets the slope pretty nicely. Um, now we will have to build a ramp up to the vehicle uh, to get somebody to sleep in there, but it does end up looking pretty cool. Just a matter of finishing off this last wall and we'll have the basic structure of this home done. I thought about using the red car here, but this other car um, just matches a little bit better. Has the same rust pattern. Now with the uh, car kind of on a slope like we talked about earlier, there's a decent sized gap underneath it. So rather than use junk fences like I did in the arena, we're going to go ahead and use pallets and just kind of wedge these pallets underneath it it'll look a little bit more supported plus I don't know a little bit something different to look at rather than the junk fences all the time um, even though we do have quite a few junk fences in this build um, just a matter of getting it so that it kind of clips with the bottom a little bit but not all the way through and now we're gonna go ahead and build a ramp uh, I figured a ramp would work better than uh, having stairs leading up to the uh, sleeping area there so we just want to get one of these curved ply boards and then slide one of these uh, pallets underneath. Might as well have it match with the uh, other pallets sitting around. And with the main part of the interior done, we're going to go ahead and work on the exterior walls. Now these are also going to serve as the exterior walls to the settlement. This is actually going to be the one of the entryways into this side of the settlement here. So these... Um, Guard towers work really well if you're going to have like any curved part of a wall. Um, and the barbed wire on there and all that, it just screams, you know, exterior defenses. So I'm going to go ahead and place that around the cars there. I really like to have it so you can see this top car. Just make it, make the walls look a little bit more imp improvised and just a little bit more um, Raider themed. Um, you can see there I didn't like those particular junk walls. We're going to go ahead and use some. Again, from the Homemaker mod, but uh, this time with the barbed wire, it'll help match that uh, guard tower we're using as part of the wall. Now for this stretch, I actually already placed down a couple of junk fences, but it wasn't quite long enough to reach the end. So we can actually just clip um, two fences together and using the posts as uh, a guide, we can make it look like one piece. So this home is actually for the dog breeder. So rather than have a series of dog houses kind of just in a line, we're going to go ahead and build a dog house that will hold three dogs. So we're just going to glitch two of these uh, shack walls with the roofs together. Now that we have a little more light and can see a little better, I'm just going to select all with those two shack walls and just get the height right. We want to get it nice and short for dogs. Um, just so it looks more like a dog house and just want to pop that into place yeah, it looks pretty good now to finish off the dog house we're going to use these uh, little dog beds i believe it comes from a mod called dog beds and uh, i'll link it in the description i can't remember if that's correct but they are kind of brightly colored so i want to go ahead and cover these up with some boards just to kind of i don't know make it look a little more junky perfect 
So here we are at the final tour. You can see here this exterior wall looks pretty good. I had to glitch two of those junk fences together. And of course we have a pack mannequin keeping an eye out on things. I really like the way you can see that car kind of poking over the wall. That looks pretty cool. And then this part of the junk wall here, it really does look like it's one piece, even though that is three different junk walls. Of course you have a head on a pike. You can just see a few sandbags poking in there. They, it just needed a little bit of extra support. And of course I really wanted to show off the truck there, so instead of putting another junk wall, I went ahead and used uh, one of the chain link fences. And there's a bunch of chain link fences around Starlight, so it makes sense they would be able to easily scavenge one. And this is the dog breeder here. You can see the uh, dog house turned out pretty well. Those dog beds don't work 100%. It is kind of um, messing with the dog AI a little bit, but it still works pretty well. You can see here a little seating area and some beer, of course. I did have to put one dog house in there. You're going to have a favorite dog, of course. And you can see here I have no problem walking up the ramp. And of course, uh, we have our little sleeping area here. Wouldn't be a Raider settlement without chems. And of course, uh, some Nuka-Cola to remind them of home. Um, they are Nuka World Raiders after all. And uh, that's a water barrel there on the side from a mod called Passive uh, Water Resources. And there's a better look at that dog house. You can't even see the uh, dog beds in there. They will sometimes sit down. I don't know why they're not doing it right here, but... There we go. There's a dog breeder. Simple, but... It still kind of fits the theme of the of the settlement here. I really like the way that turned out. Now let's take a look at the other house we built. Now coming along here, you can see uh, a lot of junk. This guy is clearly a scavenger. And I really like how both of these um, houses are kind of close together, so it kind of creates a little corridor into the settlement. You see there are just a bunch of junk laid about and it looks like this guy was able to find an engine don't know how he's gonna get that thing working but of course we have pack colors on the side there and then above on the patio we have a, um, a turret as well as a body on a pike serving as a warning now uh, let's take a look inside You can see you're met immediately with some scrap and, of course, uh, some scavenging tools there. Oh, maybe a little gardening as well. Some melee weapons sitting about. And, of course, uh, some plants there and plants there as well for growing chems. I do not know what those flashing lights are. I really got to figure that out. Something, something with one of my mods. Of course, you have some chems there on a shelf little uh, party table in the corner melee weapons Ooh, it's quite a lot of bones we got there and uh, I really hope that's not human skin rolled up yeah he might be a little angry here we go out into the covered patio you can see there a human skull ashtray I really like the way this patio turned out with the candlelight and the hanging meat, bloody meat bags everywhere. But it, it just looks really cool. Almost like a like a cave, but it's not really. It just looks great. Um, here we go, coming into this shed here. And I think we have an idea of what's happening. Um, oh, that poor guy. I don't think he's going to be in for a good time anytime soon. Of course we have some bodies, you know, draining into some troughs. Not sure what you need all that blood for. Uh, got a machete there. And of course some buff out on the ground. A little added strength when you're hacking bodies apart. And that's a little uh, torture shed. That turned out really well. Although I still think the patio is my favorite part. I just, I don't know. The atmosphere in here is really cool. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. Drop me a comment below if you have any questions for me 
or I glossed over something that you know you want a little more information about or if you just want to say hi um, go ahead and subscribe if you want to know when my next video goes live I should be working here at Starlight where I might finish up uh, the final tour over at Overland I also have a Merc Water construction site build challenge that's almost complete so that should be pretty fun um, looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video and until then Enjoy your time in the Commonwealth.